Yeah, I'm going to show you guys how you do this infinite zoom spinning. In effect, this is a must know because it is so fire and super simple to do as well, surprisingly. So opened up inside of After Effects here, we have this brand new Lil Uzi Vert music video, which by the way, is really, really good. If you guys haven't seen it, I highly recommend you check it out. We're going to go ahead and take a clip from the music video. We're going to start here and press Command Shift D on our keyboard to cut our clip. And we're going to end it like about here. We're going to press Command Shift D again. And we're going to take our cut clip that we have right here. And we're going to right click on it, go over to pre-compose and make sure we have these three selected here. So it's going to crop it to the size of the new composition and it's going to open the new composition as well. So we're going to hit OK. And you guys can see here we have our clip opened up in a new composition. And before we hop into this video, my brand new plugin Fast Effects is finally out. It allows you to instantly add hits, shakes, wipes, and a ton of other transitions inside of your video in just one click. Everything is fully customizable. I'm going to be using this on every single one of my projects going into the future as it adds so much energy so fast. You definitely need it as a time saver and the effects are just so crazy. So if you guys want to go down Download fast effects, they'll be in the description. But let's hop right back into the video. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on our clip, the layer of it down here. We're gonna press S to bring up the scale. And just for this video's sake, since it has all of these little uh, text icons and logos and stuff in the corners, I'm just gonna zoom in so you can't see that because for the sake of the infinite zoom transition, it looks really weird when those are in the frame. It looks a lot better without them. So what we're gonna do again now to make this actually apply to the transition is we're gonna right click on this clip now, go over to pre-compose, and we're gonna turn off open new composition and just leave leave these two checked. We're going to hit OK. And now this is going to be its own composition. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go over and we're going to search up infinite. And this will only work if you guys have Sapphire. So I highly recommend you guys check it out because it comes with this effect and alongside of a bunch of other crazy effects. I do believe most of you guys have Sapphire though. So if you didn't know about this effect, I'm about to put you on right now. We're going to drag and drop this on top of our clip now. And you guys can see instantly we have a crazy look just like this, but there's no animation to it. So to animate it, we're going to go up to our effect controls tab up here and we're going to keyframe the zoom zoom, the twist, and the rotate here. So starting off at the very beginning, we're going to keep it the way it is. We're going to go to the very end now, and this is where we're going to play with stuff. So holding command on my keyboard, I'm slowly going to drag this until I get to the zoom I want. Let's bring it to about six, actually. And then with the twist as well, I'm slowly going to drag it holding command until we get to 0.6. I like to match these up. So if I keep my zoom at six, I'm going to match this with 0.6. If you were to do two here, I'd match this with 0.2. And you also have rotate as well, but I'm actually not going to add anything for that because I want to see how it looks without it. So this already looks super crazy, guys but there's one more step that we can use to spice it up a lot more. So you can go on your clip. There's two ways of doing this. You can click on motion blur right here, enables motion blur for all layers within. If you toggle switches and modes and add it right here, I believe that will add motion blur, but it might not because it's actually a Sapphire plugin. So if it adds motion blur for you, great. If it doesn't, what you could do is actually go over inside of your effects again, and we're going to search up RSMB, which is another plugin that I highly recommend you guys get. I'm going to drag on RSMB Pro here, and you guys can see instantly that this is going to add motion blur. You can see on the edges, here. It's really just going to add a lot more depth to this whole zoom transition. And I'm going to bring it to one here. So we get a ton of motion blur. As you guys can see there, we have it. It's really going to add a lot of depth to this. Now, what you guys can do as well is if we go ahead and add CC radio blur as well to this, we bring it to the very top. We'll turn up the amount to two. Let's try five. Actually, you can get some warped edges here and you'll get a look like this. And that will also add a little bit more sauce on top of this. You guys can see the before and after. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much the effect. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well, because I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.